Well, ebony. That's good stuff. That is a little yo lamb because of the way it's peeing. Yeah. And there's your second one, twins. So when I left her earlier, I was vaguely suspicious, but not suspicious enough, obviously. So she's got two lambs. Now, I have to go get the iodine and uh, dip their umbilical cords just before Storm Franklin comes. We've got another storm coming. It's named as well. It's named as well. And it's coming, uh, it's gonna hit Claire. Oh. Direct hit. Not good. So here's, let's see. So that yo lamb is getting in for a suckle. Very quick, experienced mother ebony. Okay, I'm gonna go and get the um, iodine to dip navels. Okay. Hey, Ebony, no, I don't have anything for you to eat. Sorry, no, afraid not. So I'm gonna dip these babies, whoops, in iodine. This is what I do, give it a good soaking. This is spending money on preventative medicine because I don't like the little fitzy sprays because you could miss a bit. And this is preventing anything untoward sneaking up the raw umbilical cord. This is a ewe lamb. Yes, you're a lovely ewe lamb. Oh, here's the other one. And here's the other one. Oh, here we go. And there we go. Shake it up so you see it changed color from pink to that color. Completely unconcerned. So, doesn't hurt. No, it doesn't hurt. It might no. sting slightly, but they've just been born, so they don't even know. Yeah, like there was no expression change on yeah, the face. Yeah, none whatsoever. But And of course, then I get it all over my hand sometimes. <laughs> and it kind of stains my hand. Sorry, girl. I'll, yeah, oh, she's, oh, I wiped iodine all over that. Hey, oh, look who's here as well. How are you? Have you come to see the new lammies? Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do now is uh, get the stable ready for her to go in so she can have some after birth um, a meal. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is what's happening. Here, here let's see. <laughs> that is what's happening. Susan's been filming for me. <laughs> and um, we have all the dogs looking on. So these lambs are doing well, and Inca, oh, you've just stolen some of the afterbirth. Yeah. Really, are you gonna get in the air? Now, we've got the other two remaining pregnant yos over there. There's Judy, and there's Big Ears over there in the corner. So, all is quiet with these two, but Damaris, you can see, is huge. She is huge, and she's filling out. And her udder is beginning to fill out as well. You see, so birth is gonna be soon for those two. Oh, look, hello, big ears. No, wrong mother. That's not your mother. Look, Judy says, oi, that's my baby. And this one is watching everything. So there we go. We found our correct mother. Ah. There we go. And a cat observing, aren't you? Observing everything time. Okay. Well, Inca really, honestly, but it's natural. Afterbirth is a delicious high protein. So that's why the dogs love it. Isn't that right? Okay, I'm gonna put you guys in the stable so that you can have um, some food. Ebony, yeah, she's hungry. Actually, I might just, cause it's raining, I'll put her in the pen by chair and give her food there. Okay, Missy.
Yes, you and your babies. I'm gonna give you a little pen so that I can give you food. Come here. Come here. Come on. There you go. One baby. Close the gate. I'll put the other baby in with you. Yes. Lined up snuggle buns. Now. There we go. Are they two ewes? They're two ewe lambs. Yay! Yay! We like ewe lambs! <laughs> so, here's a lovely... No, you're not getting these nuts. Here's a lovely bunch of nuts for Miss Ebony to have. She's been drinking the water I gave her. The water bucket's full. And there we go. There's some after birth breakfast. So, and I'll give her some of this hay. Oh, nice, big, beautiful bit of hay. This is beautiful hay. There we go. Ugh. There we go, lots of hay. For her two beautiful twin ewe lambs. Clever girl. <laughs> No, you don't get any breakfast, sorry. You've already had breakfast. Now, it's your turn. How tall mm. is your udder? It's getting there. I might have a few days. And I can't get near the arse end of her because she's a nervous sheep. So she won't let me anywhere near her back end even at feeding time, she's very skipperish about letting me test her. Aren't you, Damaris? 